Fuka Yamagishi is waifu Matero, the shy one of the group. She acts as the main cheerleader slash navigator of the C's team in Persona 3. Plus, she's really small. With that, here are my reasons why Fuka Yamagishi is waifu Matero. Standing at just five foot flat, she's the shortest female of the C's group, barely taller than Ken, a ten-year-old grade schooler. Appearance-wise, Fuka's looks gives off a kind and gentle vibe to her, which is absolutely true. You can tell by the way she looks up to everyone, literally, and she's certainly the most agreeable person on the team. Yeah, I feel the same way. Her short teal blue hair really helps her stand out along with that gentle smile. She can generally be seen wearing a teal green turtleneck and white leggings underneath the standard school jacket and skirt. Outside of school, she generally wears clean and simple outfits that have a hint of teal green to them. Like most girls her age, Fuka is always self-conscious about her image and weight, saying how she can't compete with Yukari's figure. Although, I don't really exercise so I probably wouldn't look very good standing next to her. She even tried one of those weight loss belts giving us and Mitsuru a preview of her cute laugh. Oh, it's Mitsuru Senpai. <laughs> oh, I I have to answer the door. Yes, I'm I'm <laughs> coming. It's not that important. Uh, never mind. Just carry on. Her self-conscious nature makes it surprising that she chose a two-piece swimsuit and had the confidence to wear it during their summer trip. However, on her beach debut, the pervy Junpei couldn't help but ogle of the girls, and I don't blame him. Junpei then expressed his surprise that Fuka's actually a lot bigger than he thought, thus scaring her away. Don't worry, she did get some revenge by almost smashing Junpei's head in. At other times, unlike Yukari, Fuka seems to have a lot of patience as she's able to quietly sit through all of Junpei's shenanigans. How was my star performance? Perfect, am I right? You've never looked better Junpei Kun, you're like a professional dancer. As for her dancing outfit, Fuka dresses in a very flashy fashion. She wears a two toned hoodie and a black skirt with colored trims around it. What really stands out for me is her non matching sock designs one stripe and the other in neon colored polka dots. Now, in terms of her dancing technique, it's quite, uh, reserved. You'll probably notice that she doesn't move her hips much, with most of her focus on leg movement and various hand gestures. In some way, she mimics some old school dance moves, but adapted in her own unique way. Anyway, I'm sure we can all agree that this dance style really fits Fuka. Fuka is a shy and quiet individual with very little confidence in herself. I'm sure quite a few people can relate to her situation, but I just want to say this. <laughs> Now early in the main story, we can see that Fuka is a victim of bullying. However, that very bully is supposed to be one of her best friends. Fuka does her best to prevent Natsuki from falling into the wrong crowd. Being too nice for her own good, it takes off Natsuki that Fuka never ever fights back. She often gets pushed around and even once got stuffed and locked in the gym storage room overnight, which is how she ended up inside Tartarus. Most people would be dead in a few hours, but her clairvoyant skill helped her survive. Later in the story, the team gets beat up by a pair of boss shadows. Then suddenly, Natsuki appears wanting to apologize for everything. Fuka then risked her life to go and protect Natsuki, where we get to see her persona form revealed. Fuka's persona is quite unique. While not meant for battle, it houses Fuka inside a protective shell. While I've never seen it get hit physically, it does help protect her from the elements and poisonous gases. As she uses a non-combat persona, Fuka tends to stay on the sidelines, replacing Mitsuru as a battle navigator, seeing that she has a superior clairvoyant skill. As a battle navigator, she communicates the intentions of enemies along with general cheerleading. This is getting intense. Let's wrap it up. The enemy's completely charmed by your moves. Ah, a hip-hop type track. Be careful, don't lose your rhythm. During Persona 3 dancing, Fuka comes up with a silly idea of starting a dance cheer club, assigning herself the president position. However, the dance cheer club idea doesn't really sit well with the others. Ingredients for the what? What are you talking about? Isn't that just a regular dance club? Well, except LP, who's desperate to join this ever exclusive club. Oh, are you interested in the dance cheer club, LP? Most assuredly, especially from what I've gathered about this famed organization. Such cruel words! Could you possibly wish to deflect my request and leave me baffled? Luckily, LP has one weakness. Goodness! To think such a reason could exist! This is merely another example of oh in this world. Now going back to the case with her friend, when Natsuki's family is moving away, she decided to cut all ties from Fuka in an attempt to spare her feelings. Thankfully, Makoto Ryoji from the Helpers Club was able to help Fuka out. By tricking Natsuki into thinking that Fuka got hurt, they led her onto the rooftop, where they had quite a moment. A moment so tender that Makoto actually smiled. Wow. Fuka once mentioned that she's into strong guys, so in order to start Fuka's social link, you need to be a badass. Her social link story mainly has to do with growing her confidence, starting with improving her cooking skills. Once given the nickname Killer Chef, 
I have the responsibility to warn you all that just like the Persona 4 waifus, Fuka is a horrible cook with little to no sense for food safety. The only difference is she's actually aware of how bad she is. We go through the dates trying not to die and hurt her feelings. Thankfully she's able to make at least one dish properly, the classic Japanese onigiri or rice balls as they call it. Just make sure to keep her away from Akihiko's terrible ideas. Why not keep it simple at first and put some protein in them? In fact, I already have an idea for my first dish. Barbecued pig's feet and strength sauce. For the strength sauce, I'll have to balance all the protein types. Whey, soy, casein. Wow, what an impressive sounding dish, senpai. Like a three-star restaurant. I can't tell if she's being serious or just being polite. Why not try putting whole lemons inside the rice balls? Lemons? Yeah, they're great for recovering stamina. They also speed up metabolism. That sounds very unique, but also like a wonderful idea. I'll try making both your recipe and my own right away. One might forgive Fuka for not knowing what protein tastes like, but lemons? Despite this, Fuka seems to have quite a nose for good coffee. It didn't smell like cheap coffee either. It was well brewed, like from an actual cafe. Towards the end of her social link, Fuka reveals that she's a bit of a tech head. Following in her father's footsteps, she specializes in fixing audio equipment. Seeing that Makoto wears earphones all the time, it seemed very appropriate for Fuka to give him a pair of custom headphones she assembled. Now that I think about it, Fuka is very similar to Futaba in Persona 5. They're both non-combat based navigators, shy around people, and absolute lovers of technology. With this, it seemed natural for the two to come in contact with each other during Persona 3 dancing. With Futaba, I mean Alibaba hacking Fuka's laptop. Yeah. Although, it does seem like Alibaba's gotten hooked on dancing lately. Dancing? <laughs> Talk about super timing! Lastly, Fuka's kind attitude can be a bit contagious, where she unknowingly taught LP the lesson of sportsmanship or something like that. <gasps> Could this be the concept of sportsmanship that I've heard rumors about? Sportsmanship? No! Perhaps it should be called dance personship in this case! I shall embody this dance personship and yearn for you all to neatly annihilate your prey. She's still not getting it, but close enough, I guess. So what do you think about Fuka? Would you fix audio equipment with her? Be sure to leave a like and comment about Fuka Yamagishi, our favorite dance cheer club president.